Hi everyone, in this time lapse, I'm going to tell you my criteria and my methodology to create this new creature from a hyena and the wild pig. The first thing I do is start the base drawing with one of the two animals, in this case the wild pig. Once I have obtained the general lines of the wild pig, I began to add characteristics of the hyena, such as the nose, the teeth, trying not to deform the entire pig. I keep adding parts of the hyena, like the ears, the lips, I flip the image a couple of times to check the proportions. Once I get the general shape I'm looking for in the head, I start with the body and this is when the things get a little bit complicated since I had to find the pose and the proportions that best fit the idea I have in my mind. My first idea was to draw it in a passive pose, just walking, but not very dynamic. Then I got bored and I decided to start again and look for something a little bit more interesting. I flipped the canvas a couple of times to check the proportions and continue balancing the composition with the features of both animals. Once the drawing is finished and I am satisfied with the result, the coloring begins. The base color I will use would be beige, like that of a hyena. And in that, in that base colors, I began to add different shades of brown that can be found in both animals. spots of the hyena appear and the hind quarters have a darker color referring to a white pig. As you have already seen, this animal preserves the fangs of the wild pig, but the sharp teeth of the hyena can also be seen. Once the general color has been placed, I add a shadow over the entire body and then erase the shadows in the parts of the animal that I want to illuminate. When I'm happy with the shading, on a top layer, I add more details and more light. I add fur, drop of saliva in the mouth, more shine in the eyes and nose, and so on.
once I have the object of the illustration almost complete with the lights and shadows, I start with the landscape and the background. For this I wanted it to be something with light brown colors in an African savanna style, since in my imagination this is uh, where the animal lives, where this animal lives. Once the general idea of the background is finished, I continue adding details, both to the background and to the creature. These final details make both the animal and the landscape harmonize in a single scene. Okay guys, this is it. To see more about how I draw these kind of animals, stay tuned because I upload videos like this every week. And thank you so much for watching.